Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to use a JMeter if condition. How to use a if controller in your JMeter. So uh, I have created a basic script of JPEG store. So uh, which have any uh, home, login, submit and the rest of steps going to the category, product, item, uh, review and the confirm order. So yeah, so uh, if the your login is successful, the login is successful, uh, it's, if the login is successful, then it has to do uh, the rest of the tran other transaction. So this is my condition. So if value is welcome, not found. So we are using here the welcome. We are using the welcome here. The uh, the regular expression we already created. If value is not found, if value is not found, then uh, not found, not equal to not found, uh, then it will it will execute. If it is a not equal to form, I mean that means that value is not captured from your JMeter regular expression. So there is a default value. When the expression is not works, then uh, JMeter will assign this value as a default value to the variable what we define. So I am using this variable, and if it is not form, if it is not equal to not form, then it means we have a valid users, valid users, uh, valid user logged in, and it will do the respect to execution. And uh, you can use uh, 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 interpreter condition as a variable. Uh, if, you, if you check this evaluate for all uh, children, all children. So if you have, uh, uh, it will evaluate. This condition will evaluate for all the requests in uh, each and every transaction and request when it before it hit. Okay. So I don't want that. So I want. I want to uh, run set of steps. Set of steps when the condition satisfies. So I have used this condition and we can use Jaxel or Groovy for the evaluating condition. So I'm using some basic thing. So I suggest to use Jaxel or Groovy for evaluating your conditions. Uh, even we can use the same condition for your while loop well, uh, while loops as well to uh, 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 evaluate your condition. So Jaxel or Groovy and uh, uh, basic condition. So make sure the condition what you're keeping is valid. Otherwise, our script will behave as uh, which is unexpected uh, prediction. Okay. Uh, so first, I, I have I'm using the variable uh, file to send the uh, test data uh, username and password. I have multiple username, multiple users, multiple passwords. So first I'm sending it, uh, I'm running for one iteration now. So if you see that uh, uh, I'm, I didn't generate a parent sample, so we'll generate a parent sample here. We'll generate a parent sample, so we'll get easy to, we'll easily understand the transaction wise. We'll easily understand the transaction wise. Confirm and lock out. Okay, yeah. So the script is running now. Uh, submit login. It will work fine. So it came to category now. It came to category. So now we'll change. Now we'll change the user credentials. User credentials. We'll change the user credentials. CSV. Edit CSV. Edit CSV. I'm changing the password now. Now it has to not. It will not execute for the next request. So now it came to category. I'm stopping it. Uh, let it uh, complete this iteration and we'll uh, do for next iteration. Submit. Next it will be confirm order and logout. Logout. Okay. So it was done as it is success. It is done. So if you clear this, I have renamed, I have changed the password here to password and uh, it is which is invalid password. Now it will, it should not pass this uh, transaction, I mean category. It has, it, it should not hit the category transaction now. Uh, we are running the script, uh, started home. Now uh, login. Now submit your username password. Submit your username password. See, it's done. So we can get a valid response. So it was, it was, it does, uh, transaction is, I mean, JMeter is not allowed, uh, to the next transactions, uh, as the condition is not satisfied. Uh, okay. So we can use this condition as per our requirement. If you want to do some action based on your, uh, uh, values, then we can compare those values and we can apply to, uh, our request to respect to request in that if block. We can keep multiple if blocks here. 
uh, there's no restriction to keep multi, uh, specified uh, only only limited uh, conditions you can keep any nested if conditions or you can keep any pa- any uh, uh, if conditions so with respect i mean on compared to your business requirement uh thanks for listening friends i hope this will help this helps you